We're gonna be placing a toy or object on a paper in a sunny window and tracing the shadow that it creates at three different times of the day. The shadow will move and change, giving us some really cool shapes to trace. Why are we doing this? While well, we're trying to build our understanding of light and shadow in science, we're gonna observe how lines can create shapes and we're gonna make art using new materials. I've never made art with shadows before and that's really cool and exciting. You're gonna need a large sheet of paper. I'm using a paper that's 18 by 24 inches, three different colored markers or pencil crayons, and a small toy or object that is smaller than three inches tall. If you don't have a large sheet of paper, you can tape together a bunch of smaller sheets or you can just use a smaller object. You also need to set up your space. So I have my sunny window here and I want to have a drawing space in front of my window. So I'm gonna need to move my table so that it's close to the window. So here's what I did. Okay, so I'm ready to start drawing my shadows. There's the sun coming through the window. It's about nine o'clock right now. So I've set up my paper where the window is at the top of the screen here, and I've set up my toy so that it's creating a shadow. And then I'm gonna choose one of my marker colors and I'm gonna just carefully trace the shadow. It can be kind of tricky if you have something in your window that's creating another shadow like trees or um, like um, the window sill or the um, borders along the window. As you can see, that's making a shadow on my paper. Um, but you just kind of need to do your best. Just take it slow um, and just try to trace the shapes that are created from that shadow. And then when I'm all done, um, I'm going to label what time it was when I traced it. So this was at 9 a.m. And I tried to do my shadow at 8.30, but there was not enough sunlight. So you may need to adjust your timing depending on the amount of sun your window's getting. Okay, now we're gonna wait uh, for a few hours and we're gonna come back at 12 or 12.30. All right, so I came back to this area and it's a lot more sunny. And this little guy was just having a nap in the sunny window. And this is what my shadow now looks like. So my window is right here. And this is my shadow. And I'm now going to get started on tracing. And don't forget to label the time when you did that tracing. So for me, it was 1230. Okay, and now we're gonna wait two to three hours again. And then we'll see what happened to our shadow. Okay, I'm back and it's at 330. And this is where my window is. And this is where the shadow of my object is. As you can see, it's a lot longer. It's pointing in a different direction than the previous two shadows that I traced. So now I'm gonna get started on tracing and labeling the time when I traced it. If you don't have access to a sunny window like I showed earlier, you may have to go outside if this is the case, just take your materials and go for a walk to a sunny spot outside. I had a lot of tall buildings around my house and there wasn't a lot of sun, especially in the early, early morning. So I just went for a walk and found this little sunny patch of sidewalk. So here you can see the sun shining over top of the smaller houses in this area. So I set down my paper and I placed my toy on my paper and then I got started on tracing around the shadow that was created. You'll have to walk back to the same spot um, and try to place your toy on the same spot on the paper where it was originally placed. So I actually drew some lines right where the feet were placed so that I could easily place the toy back on the paper in exactly the same spot. All right, so that's another option if you wanna go outside and get some sun. 
And here's my final product. You can feel free to decorate it with markers if you like, and then glue it into your visual journal so that you can save it and look at it later. I had a lot of fun making these. I actually did some other tests and had so much fun making shadow art. That's it. Thanks for watching.